last time on Crimson Spires, stuff happened. And now, stuff continues to happen. What? His face right now. August, quick, team huddle. August is like, Bay, that is so hot. Whatever you say. We'll focus on the IRS letter for now. So are we skipping right to stealing that Bible? Hello? Game? midnight. An abandoned church at midnight? The hottest place to meet up. Uh oh, what if Mayor Ward is dead now? It's a post-contingency rural church that's supposedly lacking in funds. We don't need to worry about security. It would be amazing if this church actually had, like, lasers and ring doorbells and guard dogs and just the whole th shebang when we try to break in. On the contrary, the more we plan, the more suspicious we look. Erica, stealing a Bible from a church is like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> oh, but yeah, but it's we have to steal his personal Bible, so the maybe only that one is. The here is your own conscience. So can you overcome it or not? I don't have an issue. He's not. I went by his house before coming here. He's at home. August, wow, you are a pro stalker. Aren't you glad I checked? You're the one so worried about getting caught. August is like, it would be totally empty in there. Which means if we felt like getting up to some canoodling, no one would interrupt us. But what? What are you going on about? I did it to reassure you, but clearly that's a lost cause. You preach to the choir. Oh, church reference. The BRS letter said, you must abandon your commitment to preserving the law. I abandoned the law some time ago. You're the one who must do this, Erica. Wow, August is like the Yoda to our Luke Skywalker. If Luke was like trying to bang Yoda. Might I suggest you try the front door? Ah, pity. Shouldn't church doors stay open for all? 
Fortunately, I think we both know how to pick a lock. I can help with that. Erica, why didn't you bring a lock picking kit? Mr. Reese is trying to hide something. He probably has like a fur suit in there. When he's not preaching, he's at the furry conventions. Solve it or I'm Uh, see? El Bano? It means the answer should become clear soon. Gracias. We also have a rare opportunity to learn more about this church and its history. We've been investigating this church for the last few days, Erica. Why not use this chance to see if we can learn more? About Jesus? someone who would spend the people of the tail's money just to fly to Africa and take a silver grand eyes and photograph. That's true isn't part of, you know, engaging in charity. You're supposed to be humble about it, not expect accolades and praise for it. Tell me, Erica, how do you, a former FTI agent, still have so much faith in humanity. Did you see any other books in that drawer? Uh, he just had a couple copies of Fifty Shades, but that was about it. Ah, the church ledger. That was a little too easy to find, don't you think? We're gonna find out he's been extorting money, obviously. The last several months, near the 13th, there was a regular donation of $1,000 from LB. But none for this one. The 13th was last week. Was Liam in jail that day? Yes, but I'm surprised I found this so quickly. Liam probably wanted to be anonymous because his family supports the Lucian Church. But Pastor Reese didn't try very hard to hide any of this. Maybe it's a red herring! Or LB is someone else. It could be... Um... Oh, I was gonna say, maybe it's Bobby Richardson, but that would be BR. Or, he's hiding a deeper secret somewhere else. <gasps> He's got a secret cellar for his fursuit. He's hiding something. I could feel it, Erica. I'm a good judge of character. That's all. Hmm. This is... hmm. Does August have some kind of, like, sixth sense? 
Keep looking through that one. Where he can Focus sense on the older that records. someone's bad. See if you can find any pre-contingency details that might help our investigation. Interesting. See any other familiar names then? So this game must take place in like the early 2000s? Found it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that pose is just the best. He's a gambler. Our dear Pastor Reese has a crippling addiction. He's been gambling thousands of dollars at the Monarch Casino for the last five years. Well, is that in town? Because if it's out of town, it's not like he can go there now. I was right. He's hiding a dark secret. I mean, I guess. He's a liar, he's a fraud, and I'm sure he's not just spending his own money. He spends the hard-earned dollars of Batale's community to feed his filthy habit. Okay. So, I mean, we could tell people and they could stop... ...coming to the church, I guess, but... You plan to just ignore this? August, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. We're trying to solve all this stuff with the PMS. We're trying to find the truth, and this man should be exposed. Okay, well, I mean, we could do that too. We could put out a notice in the town newspaper. <gasps> We're gonna get caught. Someone's here. Probably only the pastor himself. What if it's not? What if it's Jesus? Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping that they would do that. You know, the trope where they have to hide together and their bodies are pressed against each other and the sexual tension. Oh yeah, I really hope that August doesn't pop out and give the dude a lecture. Oh, it's not Jesus. Oh my- uh oh. Oh, this? Um, I can explain. It, uh... I was just going to uh, trim his hair with my knife. Because his hair is so bad. Why are you pointing a gun at me? He knocked him out, obviously. What does it look like? I knocked him out. Yeah. I improvised. Now, if you would, drop your own weapon. I strongly dislike staring down the barrel of a gun. <gasps> Another surprise hug? Why are you treating me like this? You are being so mean to me right now just because it seems like I probably am the heartbreaker killer but it's still not fair we had fun shirtless time over by the river earlier today did that mean nothing Erica why the fuck would you trust Charlotte what
You understand nothing. You know nothing. Erica Snow. Oh no. He's gonna force choke us. What the fuck did Charlotte say to you? Oh. Oh shit, does he? What? What? Oh! Oh no. Please don't struggle. I don't want to hurt you. What the fuck? Will you stop putting your gun in my face? Um... Well... I just like that. Yay? For now? Well, yeah, I mean, what if you try to kill us later? Not good enough. If we're going to be partners, Erica, I need you to treat me like one. Well, then I need you to not act like you're a serial killer. You do like your gun, don't you? I mean... She is from America. Fine. For now, I'll just take the bullets out, so we can have a civilized conversation as adults. Agreed? Eventually. Oh my god, dude. Now then, where were we? We were about to keys. You said Charlotte reminded you who I was. What did you mean by that? Why on earth would she ask about that? Do they want to frame me again? So... You relived the Heartbreaker's crimes by explaining them in detail to Charlotte. Is that why you've been so anxious around me lately? Basically, yes. You said this was a couple of days ago, so it was shortly after you chose me as your partner? No takesies backsies. What aspect of the Heartbreaker was she most interested in? So Charlotte planted this fucking idea in your head. Then somehow we ended up in Pastor Reese's office. We got the Bible. Now I have something else to investigate. You, you gonna tell us? What? I thought you said we had to be honest, because we're partners. I'll deliver the Bible to the drop-off point. Just let me know when the next letter arrives, yes? As I said, he'll be fine. I can assure you, Pastor Reese no longer holds my attention in the slightest. I have a new victim in mind. I mean, uh, a new, uh, suspect in question? Shut up. Well, did he find something that hint to him that Charlotte is in charge of the IRS or whatever? Is that why he stormed off? He thinks that maybe... Hmm. Worried that August might come for me. Or 
that he might not. I can't help but think that August really spent a lot of time checking out Pastor Reese's butt. And I'm worried, does he like Pastor Reese more than me? Notice the Bible's missing? Because he never even fucking reads it. damn luscious Christians. Kind of awesome if all of a sudden Erica just took him down with one punch right now. Like, oh, it was a man because he took you out with one blow. Well, how about this, motherfucker? Maddie or August? She's a brown belt. Oh, it's because she's gay, isn't it? Motherfucker. Well, then you can die. When our sheriff is associating with gays. Come August. The law, the lines are blurring between law and order within this town. August, I'm back. And Pastor Reese is a total dick, so I'm sorry. I should have let you kill him. Hey, boss. We had a lover's quarrel. Huh? Maddie's like, should have picked me, bitch. And then Liam looks up and he's like, Should have picked me, bitch. <laughs> Sounds bad. The only crime that August has committed so far is being too sexy for his shirt. 
He probably is worried that you guys would find out about the blackmail if you huh? investigated. Or not the blackmail, the ledger and his gambling stuff. So spit it out. Can Liam hear us right now? Is he listening? Does he have super vampire hearing? Oh. Oh, the mayor didn't die. Okay. <laughs> I kind of feel like denying him from interviewing the mayor. So? was mad because of the deceiving people. Sadly, he is still alive. Oh. Still. I... I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, he probably has been awful to Maddie because she's gay. So I don't blame Maddie for hating him. playing Minesweeper on his computer, as usual. about that. Like, don't you want to know if they're using up all of those satellite channels and you don't have direct TV down here? Doesn't that piss you off?
Good for you. You met the bare minimum of being a decent human. Shit, not even broadcast? Oh my god, Passions! Oh, Passions was the best soap opera. I miss it too. So this has got to be taking place in a year when Passions was still on the air. We are becoming August! Um... Damn it, Maddie! <sighs> okay... The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the mother burn. Nothing else fucking makes sense. very busy. I was just about to win this next level on Minesweeper. Hmm. Huh. Maybe. August is making me into a total asshole. Or she doesn't even make an effort to visit him? Why don't you even go ask him how his Aladdin book is going? Oh shit. Uh oh. Religious riot! Now we have to wait for another loading screen, and then finally, after eight years, oh, it didn't take that long. Oh, I'm sure, Reese. Pastor Reese is like, they won't take this too far. Anyway, kill the non believers, my flock. Kill them.
Okay. It's a real Bible. It's August. He probably did. Why didn't he just fucking call her about this in the first place? Oh, Erica, do you feel bad? Yes, because it was me. I mean, uh... Oh shit, what? What? Oh fuck. So, shit, is the... Is the repatriation people, are they trying to start a religious war in this town? Dude, do you want these people to fucking kill you? No Bible for you, Reese. Why do you assume... why would August... okay. Well, I guess he could've, but it doesn't make more sense that, you know, the IBS put it there because they want to start some religious fighting. I thought August was staying in an apartment. Did I misremember that? Have I gone mad? Oh shit. Is he fucking somebody? August, you traitor! What? August, you two time and hussy. The door wasn't even locked, Erica. It was more dramatic this way. Perhaps I was distressed by one of August's bad jokes. <laughs> but I'm sure you know the feeling, Erica Dark.
I was having a glass of wine and enjoying August company. For me, it's quite late. But never mind. Are you going to arrest us for drinking during daylight? Are you here to accuse me of something new? Or just the usual? Bay, I'm sorry, but we've got a situation. You might as well say it in front of Charlotte. She knows everything. I didn't even tell her everything about the Heartbreaker. I told her one of the options. I do? <laughs> Go ahead and say what you came to say, Erica. Say what you mean to say. The Bible we stole from Pastor Reese for the Batel Repatriation Society. What? As I said, Charlotte already knows. Please, go on. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> now that's a standoff I'd like to see. But if you think I arranged this conflict, Erica, then you're wrong. What is even happening The anymore? one who planted the Bible in the church is Charlotte. What are you playing at here? Is he trying to get her to confess or deny or admit, like, reveal she knows something? I... I don't know what you are talking about. Why not? You're the one who picked up the Bible from the train station, then planted it at the Lucian Church. I saw you do it. No, you didn't. Hmm... Perhaps you didn't pick it up, but I know you handled it at some point. What? What? I thought I spoke quite plainly. Charlotte is the culprit you're looking for. What are you... <gasps> Gasp. Did she touch some jizz? Isn't that what those reveal? Or like pee? I borrowed this theft detection powder from the precinct, then put it on the Bible before I dropped it off at the train station. Oh, I, or that. Alright, well. Now, it's on Charlotte's hands. Damn, if he's telling the truth, that is really clever. How clever. So... You didn't invite me to breakfast for my illustrious company? So was August just planning on... Like, did he know that we were gonna break in? Was he like, I know that Erica can't fucking handle anything, and it shall probably be here after the riot at the church breaks out. In order to question me, and I will have this black light ready to show her Charlotte's hands when she gets here. Oh, I wanted your company, too. I learned quite a lot about you by observing it. Like, for example, you are really annoying. I already suspected your connection to the BRS, but I knew Erica would want solid proof. There it is, on your hands. On your jizzy, jizzy hands. Good questions. I can only guess as to why Charlotte would do any of this, but I suspect it entertains her. When you told me Charlotte asked you questions about the Heartbreaker only a day after you selected me as partner, it was quite obvious. She wanted to manipulate me. So all the IBS stuff is fake, the whole society, it's just been Charlotte fucking with people? She wanted to better understand the Heartbreaker's motives so she could inspire me to kill someone. Isn't that so, Charlotte dear? Well, did it work? <laughs> She's like, I mean, yeah, but... Hmm. Not in the way you intended, I suspect. This is some... Death Note level chess game shit. I see. She's like, I'll try harder next time. Uh, I 
must trust in my <laughs> you partner. Really think you can kill me. And he liked that, so maybe it's a good choice. Well, I don't know. Probably not. But I'm prone to making foolish decisions. I'm not sure whether I want you to try. I want to show you your place. But I'd hate to kill you. August pulls another one out of his arsenal. You're He's like, so much fun Little do you know, I actually August placed Flynn. exploding explosion device in your wine, and you ingested it. And now, I have the self-destruct button right here. So if you try to kill me, I will press it, and you will detonate from the inside. I do my best. <laughs> August. So, would you enlighten us, Charlotte? How long have you been faking letters from the BRS? I don't have to tell you anything. Darn. I guess that we tried our best. Perhaps, but wouldn't it be nice to take credit for how well you've manipulated us so far? I might have faked a letter or two. I won't say how many. Yes. Yes, it is. But they are dangerous, too. So was this whole fucking thing a wild goose chase, then? This whole thing with the Bible and this all wasn't part of the real PMS, but they actually are real and we were just following a fake letter? I see. Fascinating. That was such a waste of time, then. To see what would happen, and to give you some work to do. You like a good mystery, don't you, Erica? You're welcome. Yeah, not if it's a waste of time. And it distracts us from getting further with August. Well, the game was fun while it lasted, but now I must decide what to do with you both. You invited me into your home, August. You confronted me here without any defense. How incredibly foolish. Probably as a stake. Well, I can't disagree. <laughs> or not. Hmm. Or perhaps you have a larger scheme. One I haven't noticed yet. I think you overestimate me. Perhaps. Or, perhaps the game isn't over yet. If this works, and she leaves, and we talk to August, and he's like, Oh yeah, no, I didn't have any backup plan. Like, I totally thought she was gonna kill us there. Very well, I'll leave you both to argue over this little discovery. But know that I am watching, and I can kill you both. On a whim. Okay, bye. Thank you for the wine, Augie. And for the... Various levels of entertainment. You, Augie? Any time. But don't call me Augie. Please. Uh, so what the fuck was that? Well... Aren't you going to say something? You could start with thank you, or I'm sorry, or perhaps both. I think I'll start with what the fuck. I don't accept that nickname. Oh my god! But... Insofar as you understand it, yes, I was. The, the most surprising thing about this game so far is that it's like there are no surprises. Like, they'll be like, August is the heartbreaker, and you don't think it's because usually that stuff, you know, 
it's not the obvious choice. It's always, you know, the narrator trying to trip you up. But, you know, August was a heartbreaker the whole fucking time. And, and Liam killed the principal, and that was everybody's first guess. It's like, okay, so I'm out here trying to, you know, find secret hints that it's someone else, or find out who the, you know, secret murderer is, and it's just the obvious choice. Okay. Let's get into that another time, shall we? I'm not even sure how I would explain it to you. I follow the forces of Miss Wu. I aid pandemonium. I seek to destroy the cages people build on their own minds. What? <laughs> I mean, Erica, be real though, like, they kind of weren't. They all had, like... No one is innocent. But there are those who are evil, and they're the ones building cages. Okay, so it's gonna try and justify him being a serial killer by being like, Oh, well, he's like Dexter. So he's not like a super, like a real serial killer. He... <sighs> he kills bad people who deserve it. Do not say that. Oh no! Damn it, Erica. I just showed you that Charlotte Mateo is the one playing us like puppets, manipulating this whole fucking town. And still, you're stuck in your rigid notion of my crimes. Charlotte faked the BRS letters. She probably faked the ones about Jessica and Gary, too. They're probably dead, perhaps at her hand. But you lied to us too. You kept saying that you weren't the killer, and you were the whole time. And Erica was actually right, even though she was just assuming. I am not the evil you need to hunt. I'm still very disappointed in you. Very hurt. Thought this was built on trust. But you didn't trust us enough to tell us that you Erica? really are the killer. What, <laughs> Maddie? No! Are you, there? you came at a bad time. Could you come back to the precinct, please? These church folk are driving me crazy. About 30 of them are outside. Lucians and Christians yelling and blaming each other for anything and everything. Sounds like a typical day in the Facebook comment section. Well, I tried talking to them, but it's no use. I think you and Mayor Ward need to do something about this. Good idea. We'll go drop a smoke bomb into the crowd. August, I'm very upset, disappointed with you. By all means, go lay down the law, Sheriff. <sighs> I still want to touch your butt, though. And that's what hurts the most about all this. Get the fuck out. Dude! He's like, he expects us to be all happy because we found out Charlotte is probably faking the whole BRS BS thing. But he also he's also a fucking serial killer. Ugh. He actually is. And he's been telling us the whole time he's not. And I kind of believed him. Like I joked about him really being it, but <sighs> I never felt so betrayed. He gave us a surprise hug. He could have killed us right there. Impossible. God damn it, <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> I 
at this point, if I was Erica, I would just be like, well, I fucking quit. I'm not sheriff anymore. Someone else do it. I'm done. I'm gonna go hang out at Stacy's house, eating steaks. Our vampire overlords. I guess. Shut them both down. They are both equally annoying. <sighs> this isn't a competition to see who's more oppressed. Tell that to Twitter. Let's go. Oh my god, they were literally probably in there like, I saw Goody Proctor talking to the devil! <laughs> Poison his horse. He coming to apologize for being a liar. <sighs> oh my god, is he gonna be like, You've stolen my heart? I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, you're a serial killer, as long as you say sorry to us. Life is irrational. So it doesn't count that I was a serial killer before I came here. That's that's all done now. So we're cool, right? Um <laughs> Maddie's like fucking straight men. Whatever. Oh, Maddie. Erica. Yeah, because you've been lying to us about not being the killer Please. the whole time. God, will we finally get to Keys August? Find out next time on Crimson Spurs.